What's up guys, Serving New here, I'm Marisa Celis and today we're gonna compare the Gladcam HD4000 and the Flycam Mercury. So now let's roll the intro. The Gladcam is more expensive, costing around $500 on the website, but I bought it used for $200 on the app called OfferUp. And that's one of the good things about buying used Gladcams, is you don't have to worry about battery or making sure it works properly because it requires no battery. As long as all the pieces are there, it should be fine. While the flat cam cost 220, but when I bought it, it costed 190. So that proves that it is selling very well and people are actually loving it. So let's talk about build quality. We're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. First thing is the base plate. On the glad cam, it is much bigger than the flat cam, but thinner. As you can see, also the glad cam has open holes while the flat cam is solid which is why the flycam feels heavier. Speaking on heavier, without any gear, I put the same amount of weights on each gimbal. Six total weights on each gimbal. The Glycam weighs four pounds, while the flycam weighs three pounds. But when I put my camera with the mic and light, the Glycam weighs nine pounds, and the flycam weighs eight pounds. Now let's see the design of the knob. I like the knob better from the flycam, because it's bigger, easier to adjust, and it doesn't hurt your fingers. While the Glycam is harder to work with, and it could really hurt your fingers, when adjusting and sometimes it gets stuck and you have to put a lot of pressure in it. Now let's talk about the grip or where your offhand is at. I personally like the flight cam. It has this grip section to put your offhand. I don't know, I just like how it feels with the texture. Nothing wrong with the glad cam. It also has, it's also good without it. It's just the little designs that I like. Also on the flight cam, you could adjust the top part while at the glad cam HD series, you can't. I actually like the glad cam where you can't adjust cause it's not really necessary and it's less to deal with. Moving on on the grip where your holding hand is. The glad cam grip is a lot smaller and less cushioning while the flat cam is bigger and it has more rubber foam on it. I like the glad cam better cause I can get a much better grip but if you have a bigger hand then you will probably end up liking the flat cam better. Last let's compare the head. The glad cam is bigger and to adjust the balance you have to loosen a total of 4 knobs to adjust the front to back and 1 knob for the left to right. While the flight cam, you don't have to loosen anything, just adjust these two knobs. Which is a con to the glad cam because it takes longer and especially when you're on a shoe, you need to do things quick. Okay, now that we talk about the build quality and design, let's see how they perform. My setup was the Canon SO2 with the Sigma 17-50 f2.8. I stayed at 17mm at all of these shots. I put a double mount on top of the camera with the Rode mic and the light to add more weight so it can be more stable. The heavier the setup, the more smooth shots you'll get. I also shot these at 24 frames per second so I didn't slow any of these down in post so it's all real time. Alright so the first shot I did was a push in. The glad cam was definitely more smoother and easier to get a smooth shot. While the flat cam is a bit more wobblier than the glad cam. Now the same thing is the pull out shot. Again, the glad cam is a lot smoother. Oh, and just to remind you, I didn't warp stabilize any of these. They're all straight out of camera. Second is the left to right. The first one is the glad cam and the second one is the flight cam. They both did very well. Both were very smooth. So I'm going to say it's a tie on this one. Third shot is the parallax. I also think they both did good, but the only difference is when panning on your gimbal with your off hand on the glad cam, you barely have to touch it so you barely have to touch it so it can turn. While the fly cam it needs more pressure to turn, but both can get very smooth shots. Moving on, the fourth shot is the tilt up. The glad cam is a lot easier to get straight when tilting up. But the flat cam is a lot stickier and slower and can get easily and can easily get smooth shots on both of these. So there's no really clear winner, it's just pros and cons on this category. The fifth shot is the tilt down. Again, the glad cam wins on this one because it's a lot easier to keep straight. Overall, just smoother than the flat cam. The sixth shot is the running shot. The glad cam did better just keeping it straight from not tilting up while the flat cam was a lot harder so the glad cam wins on this one. The seventh shot is the low shot. The glad cam wins on this one. It's a lot smoother than the flat cam.
Alright, now my final thoughts on the glide cam. The glide cam is definitely smoother than the fly cam, but not by much. If you're in the budget, the fly cam is definitely worth it. I mean, it's not going to be as good as the glide cam, but it gets the job done. Glide cam is selling the HD Pro for only $500, and the fly cam is $200. So I recommend saving a couple hundred dollars more and just getting the HD Pro. So that's it. If you want to learn the basics of filmmaking, make sure to check out Full Time Filmmaker. Link is in the description. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and peace out.